Hi, and welcome to this desktop lecture on value chains. Value chains are really useful for having a look at your business model and analysing whether there's any risks. For this particular business model, what we're going to have a look at is a chicken shop. So this is a business that sells, so roast chickens, to a particular customer. So what this business has to do is it has to attract a customer. And in particular, it has to attract a customer that's got money to pay for the chickens. So that's a pretty simple start to the business model. So you're trying to attract that customer into the shop. Now there's different ways that you might attract those customers. So for example, you might advertise in a local newspaper. So that's a way of attracting the customer through into the chicken shop. So that's the start of your business model. You might also choose to advertise like in an online search directory. So if your customer goes to the internet, they type in chicken shop and you come up in the local area. So that uh, would also be a way of drawing uh, the target customer in. You might also choose to have a print campaign and that might be based on a specific deals that you're offering at a particular time but that would be a print campaign going directly to the mailbox of a target customer and hopefully that would draw them in. So that gives you an indication of the overall way of drawing customers into the chicken shop but that's not the entire business model. There are cer certainly other areas to consider as well. Firstly, who's supplying you with chickens. You will need chickens and there'll probably be a wholesaler available to provide that and you'll shop around for the best deal and the best chickens that you can then sell within your chicken shop. You might also supply drinks within your chicken shop and there'll be a wholesaler that sells those drinks directly to you. So Coca-Cola for example uh, would be a supplier uh, into the chicken shop. You'd also have perhaps salads uh, within your chicken shop and the vegetables and, and all the ingredients of your salads are also part of your supply chain. Now if any of these areas are ever threatened then that can become an issue for you. So you are relying on the wholesalers but the wholesalers are actually relying on the farmer to supply that. So for example in between you and the farmer is the wholesaler but that farmer if something goes wrong in the supply chain might not be able to supply the chickens that you require for your chicken shop so the wholesaler would have to um, uh, deny you access to that particular supply. The, a farmer might also supply fruit and veggies and perhaps even fruit juices for example for drink manufacturers so there are other links within the supply chain that might threaten the viability of your business at any stage and you need to analyze whether or not there will be any specific threats. Now I'll give you an example of how a threat might work when you're looking at your entire business model you look at conditions and how they might change so for example if there's a drought and the farmer increases their prices which often happens there's not enough water they can't produce as much whether it's chickens whether it's vegetables for example so they have to increase their profits so that they remain in business you need to then increase your prices uh, to cater for the price increase coming through the supply chain. Now this will be so that your business remains viable. The big question within the business model is will the customer be willing to pay more uh, for uh, your product once there is a price increase and this may threaten the viability of this particular business model if it happened regularly or if there were big price increases then customers might react negatively towards that so you need to consider it and that's just one um, example throughout the value chain there are many other factors uh, that might influence for example what happens if the print costs go up in advertising or you know the advertising costs within a local newspaper if they go up then how does that impact on you and your business and what you need to charge so that's the value of having a value chain analysis. Now the important consideration when you're doing a uh, value chain analysis is firstly to ask what is it that I'm offering, who am I relying on and how am I going to reach the customer. If you answer those fundamental questions then you're well on the way to seeing whether or not you've got a viable business model. Now there will be further information and examples within your workbook so that provides you with a template of how to produce a value chain so I'd like you to go through and have a look at that. I'll be available via email uh, to answer any questions you've got and I'd also like you to go to the interactive lectures uh, within the website which will take you through the process of developing value chains and the analysis that needs to occur. Please feel free to contact me at any time. I'll look forward to hearing from you via email. Thank you.